With a perfect 3-0 record under their belt, the Boilermakers headed to Ohio State for their first true road test of the 1967 season. Whereas the first three games of the year had dramatic finishes, the matchup in Columbus would be decided early on. Ohio State received to start the game, and on the third play from scrimmage, Purdue defensive back Dennis Serbis took an interception 30 yards to pay dirt. Less than a minute into the game, the Boilermakers were already on top. Fullback Perry Williams would dive in from the one on Purdue's next drive, and the good guys led 14-0 after one. The second quarter saw quarterback Mike Phipps take over as he connected on touchdown passes to Marion Griffin and Jim Byrne. The defense got in the action with a fumble recovery late in the half. Leroy Keyes turned it into points quickly with a 20-yard scamper and at the break, the Boilermakers led 35 to nothing. On the opening drive of the second half, Phipps led the Boilers the length of the field, and when Williams ran it in from seven yards out, Purdue went up 41-0. With the lead safe, coach Jack Molikoff rested his starters the rest of the way, but the defense continued to stand tall. On the day, the Boilermaker D forced six Ohio State turnovers and made the Buckeyes punt another six times. They held Ohio State to just 260 yards of offense and only a touchdown with 28 seconds left ruined the shutout. The 41-6 final was the worst Ohio State loss in 21 years and still stands as the most lopsided win Purdue has ever had over the Buckeyes. As Molikoff and Woody Hayes met at midfield, thoughts were no doubt turning to the next game. For Purdue, it would be a return home to take on Oregon State for homecoming. We'll have that story for you next Throwback Thursday.